Hi everybody, it's time for another Bedtime Bible Story, and we are reading a true story. I love that we're reading true stories together. Um, we're reading from a Bible storybook, so if you want to fact check or get more information, I encourage you to look up the book of Joshua, chapters 1 and 2, and you can follow along. And we are reading about the spies and Rahab of Jericho, and this is Rahab's help. After Moses died, God commanded Joshua to lead the people into the promised land, saying, Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And that's Joshua 1.9. Joshua sent spies to the land to see what it was like, and the spies stayed at Rahab's house. So the king of Jericho sent messengers to Rahab, saying, Bring out the spies who have entered your home, she said. Yes, the spies came to me, but I did not know where they were from. When it was dark, the spies went out. When the spies went out, I do not know. Pursue them quickly, for you may overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof and hidden them with stalks of flax, which she had laid out in order on the roof. Then the king's messengers pursued the spies. Rahab went up on her roof and asked the spies to save her family when Israel was attack, attacked Jericho because Rahab had just saved them. The spies agreed. Then she let them down by a rope through the window for her house was on the city wall. And she said, go to the mountain, hide there three days. So the spies said to her, Bind this line of scarlet cord to the window and bring all your father's households to your own home. So here they are. Her house was on the city wall and so they were able to escape through her window. Jericho's crumbling walls. God had a strange plan for Joshua. The Lord told the army to march around the city of Jericho once a day for six days, and then on the seventh day to march around Jericho seven times. Then God explained the priests would blow their trumpets and the people would shout and the walls would fall down. And Joshua said to the people, march around the city. So it was. Then they came into the camp and lodged. So they did for six days. On the seventh day, they rose early and marched around the city seven times. And on the seventh time, when the priests blew the trumpets, Joshua said to the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. So the people shouted. The wall fell down flat. Then the people of Israel took the city. Joshua spared Rahab the harlot her father's household, and all she had, because she had hidden the messengers whom Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. And here's a picture of the priest blowing the horn and the people shouting, and the walls came tumbling down. Maybe some of you sang that song in Sunday school. I'll attach that to this video so you can sing with your family. It's a fun one. All right, here's something to think about. God's battle plan must have seemed crazy to Joshua. When had marching, blowing trumpets, and shouting ever defeated a whole city? But Joshua didn't question God. He was loyal, obedient, and courageous. Joshua stood before Jericho. Jericho was a great fortress. As Joshua was praying, he knew God was with him and was humbled before him. No wonder God gave him a great victory. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 says, if you have faith as a mustard seed, mustard seed, and that's just a teeny, teeny, tiny seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Joshua put his faith in God's power and plan and big things happened. When God commands don't, commands don't make sense, remember that God knows what he is doing. You can trust him to do what is right according to his perfect plan. Well, sometimes, well, 
a lot of times. We like things to go our way, but we have to just pray that God's will will be done and that we trust his will. Let's pray. God, thank you for giving us the Bible that we can read and learn about you and read about these people who have gone before us who loved you and served you and obeyed you. Help us to be like them. Help us to trust you through the good times and the bad times, the happy times and the sad times. We love you and we thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. Who loves you more? That's right. God does. I will see you later. Bye for now.